Hello again, guys. Iggy's World's video. An interview to our good friend Neil Twasman, who is running for City Council of Grand Prairie. Thank you for watching and be safe. Less than the door. Okay, hello guys. Dito si Iggy's World's video. May, may bisita tayo si Neil Twasman na tumatakbong uh, running for a city council. Uh, napaunlakan naman tayo na tumalo dito na pasyal so welcome uh, Neil Twasa yeah. welcome good afternoon uh, to all the people here in the community of Grand Prairie I'm Neil Twasa as you know uh, dito po tayo sa Grand Prairie at yun nga po nabanggit ni Oliver na I'm, uh, I'm uh, running for a city council this coming election fall and uh, as a in the uh, city of Grandpa. So, so we just have my question tayo na uh, uh, for running for a council. So just have a few questions here. Um why are you running for a city council? Uh Bakika Tumatakbong City Council. Well first of all I want to be the voice and the representative of the minority in Grand Prairie. As we all know, tayo ang pinakamalaking minority rito. All of the workforce here in Grand Prairie, everywhere we go, we have a Filipino brothers and sisters that's working on every establishment here in Grand Prairie. And it's not that because I'm running only for the Filipinos, uh, as, as you know, as the president of the Filipino Association of Grand Prairie Area, uh, we are already helping the whole community of Grand Prairie. But I'm proud to say that uh, with my fellow officers, we are helping Grand Prairie uh, in here in our community and we want to explore and uh, uh, make a wider scope when it comes to giving a helping hand. And as you know, nabanggit niya rin, that he is, yes, he is the current president of uh, FAGPA, so that's a Filipino Association, Association of Grand Prairie uh, Area. Filipino Association of Grand Prairie Area. Um, and this coming fall, he will be running for a city council, as I say. So, yeah, uh, next question is how do you say that uh, for committed? Commitment. Well, when it comes to commitment itself, what my my one hundred percent is for sure. As I've said, I'm committing my one hundred percent time for the city of Grand Prairie. Uh, it's not going to be a part-time job for me. It's going to be a full-time taking care of the community. And when it comes to commitment, we are already commitment this past few years that we're taking care already of uh, the city of Grand Prairie. Well, as, as a community leader, we give a lot of uh, like uh, direct uh, uh, help or distribution yeah. of, uh, of uh, PPEs and everything these past few years and giving some sort of uh, uh, activities so that the, mm -hmm. the, the Filipinos here and even not the Filipinos, I mean the whole city, uh, the, whole community, the whole people of Grand Prairie mm -hmm. should be uh, aware that because of this pandemic there's a lot of things that's happening right now so I think number one for me is mental health the yeah. mental health yeah. that we're giving to the community is really very much important kasi ang ang nangyari sa atin this pandemic mahirap eh yeah, yeah. lahat Everyone. tayo nakakulong everybody's inside the house yeah. we don't even know you don't even know that you're already experiencing that that bad side of the mm -hmm. of the lockdown. Wala yeah. naman tayong magagawa. Kung dahil sa nangyayari talaga eh kailangan na lang natin tulungan o bigyan natin ng ibang way. Katulad yeah. nga ng ginagawa namin sa sa ano sa Fagpa na nagbibigay po kami ng that nung nakaraang taon ng libreng basketball, volleyball, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Suba, sumba um yun nga, mental health na 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 ginagawa natin sa Pomeroy Hotel. So at least, even in, in, in a small manner, yeah. that we are thinking about our community and helping out and reaching out to the community. 
Yeah. Plus, uh, on those uh, help na binibigay nyo rin doon, meron, nandun na lahat din yung pati yung martial arts din na uh, pan- may distance uh, social distancing naman doon ano? yes no, then, yeah those nakita. those were the time na um, um, uh, the, our restriction is not that bad mm-hmm. so we yeah. we got to have a sports like like you said martial arts and volleyball and basketball yeah, yeah. pero siyempre we need to comply with the provincial government's uh, uh, rules and regulations yeah. pros and cons but it's not hindi natin to pwedeng gawing habang buhay we, yeah, we cannot yeah. do this we That's cannot right. do this like you know like do this every time all the time businesses yeah. are going down yeah. like uh, enthusiasm and encouragement of people is going down That's right. we need to go back and as I've said for me myself like wala tayong magagawa we are here already yeah. we are here in this situation the only thing that we need to do is to help each other magtulungan po tayo at kung kailangan natin magpapabuna let's go out there and yeah. do our vaccine yeah. and that's the most important thing because as I've said whether we like it or not We are already hooked up with this. Mm-hmm. What happened to this pandemic? Yeah. Even you like to have a vaccine or not, wala na po tayo magagawa. Kahit ayaw ko, ayaw ninyo, obligado na po tayo tayo mga magkaroon ng, ng vaccination. Yeah. We are here in this world right now that if we need to go on and to uh, open the next chapter of our lives, we need to do it and we need yeah. to, everybody needs to go for that. Do, do, uh, do our part. Yeah, do our part. Do our part. Their city is doing their own part. Yeah, that's right. And everything is... Uh, everything like the vaccine na sinasabi mo na rin. Eh, nandun naman eh, dumarating din eh. Kung iba, I mean, it's your own choice, pero at least do your part as well na pabaksin ka kung kinawag ang magpabaksin. That's good. Yeah, so... Committed, yeah. And what can you say about like this experience mo naman na what na may share mo sa you share on the on the public if you are elected as a council? Well, on my experience, I was doing this volunteerism and uh, as a sidekick, I should say, of this good politicians back in the Philippines. I, I was with these people. I don't have to to mention them, yeah. but. Since I was 15 years old, I was uh, doing my volunteering in, in the Philippines and then do, uh, uh, being with these uh, good uh, pol- politicians back home. Kasama ko na po sila matagal na. Uh, ako po, example ko nga, sidekick nila ako. Hindi po ako politiko sa atin, pero lumaki po ako na nakikita ko yung good advocacy yeah. ng uh, mga tao ito. At uh, nalalaman ko kung ano po yung dapat gawin ako ito. Mm-hmm. Ngayon, after I grew up with them, when I was in college, uh, I'm still doing my volunteerism. Dumukumuntang po tayo sa mga re- rehabilitation center. Nagbibigay po tayo ng chinelas, pagkain, t-shirt, at kung toothbrush, toothpaste. Kung ano man yung maibigay namin nung nag-aaral pa lang ako sa kuleyo. So talagang hindi natigil. So, uh, talking about experience in public service, I, I should say I, I started really pretty young. Mabata-bata pa lang ako, naka, naka-open na talaga ako sa ganitong klase niya. Trabaho o I should say, uh, uh, pakikipagsalamuha sa tao. Mm-hmm. So I was really exposed in public service. And then when I became uh, the, this, one of the district coordinator of 3rd District of Manila, 3rd uh, District po pa kami, naka, okay. yung, pan- panahon po namin nila, Kuya Dani Lacuna at saka ni Ramon Bagatsi. Yan, yan po. Okay, yeah. uh, kaya, kaya po talagang... Uh, na dala ko po yun hanggang dito sa Grand Prairie. Nakala ko nga po, I've uh, uh, stopped na uh, doing my public service, pero when the Association of the Filipinos asked me if I can handle the association and, and to bring it live again, sabi ko, kung gagawin ko yan, I will make it really like active, pero sana tulungan nyo ko. Kasi napakahirap pag sumasamay. Tanggapin na po natin. Let's talk straight here. Uh, katap ng Pilipino ang salitang fragmentalis. Yeah. Masakit. Everywhere you go. Everywhere you go masakit sa masakit mm-hmm. na nating katotohanan yan. At yan ang pinakamasamang na ibigay ng Kastila sa atin, ng pagkakasakop yeah. sa atin sa loob ng hap, halos na mahigit na tatlong daang taon. 
Pero nandito na po tayo iganga, iganga nila millennials, si millennials na po ito eh. Mm -hmm. Tanggal na po, tanggalin na po natin yun. Hindi na po natin dapat yun iniisip o pinadala. Basta Pilipino, dapat po magtulungan yeah. po tayo. Lalo na kung nasa ibang bansa po tayo. Hindi po totoo yung colonial mentality na yan. Hindi rin po totoo yung para sa akin yung crumb mentality na yan. At totoo po sa akin, sariling pag-isip ng Pilipino at matagal na po dapat natin binaon yan sa hukay. Right. Dapat po tayong right. mga Pilipino nagsasama-sama, nagtutulungan, walang Ilocano, walang Ilonggo, walang Bacolod, walang Kapampangan, walang Batanggenyo, walang Kabitenyo, walang, walang mga taga Luzon, Visayas at Mindanao, sama-sama po tayo. At saka, hindi nyo po ba nakikita napakasarap kung tayo mga Pilipino. Kaya nga po, ako proud ako na nakakatulong po tayo sa community. Dahil at least, sino po itong mga grupong to? Sino po itong mga ito? Yeah. O, sino po ba itong mga grupong to? Uh, so, itong mga grupong to, eh, itong mga grupong to na nag-ikaka eh, Uh, mga taga, taga Pilipinas o oh, oh, Pilipino mga Pilipino Pilipino pa, 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 pala so alam nila ng mga puti na sa ating mga, mga kasama dito sa Grand Prairie na, na different nation they knew that the one who's handling the, the people or helping people came from the Filipino Association para proud lang ako na may silbi po ang mga Pilipino yun lang po ang ano ko pangilig po sa kaya dapat na sana ay magtulungan na lang tayo na hindi yung kahit may isa-isang association na each province or each region din pero ang mother na FAGPA na yun na yun yun talagang pang all for the Filipinos ay sama-sama na rin sana na na yung tanggayan ba lahat na dapat hindi you're true you're true na alisin natin yung tanggalin natin yung fragmentality na yun Saka isa pa, Brother Oliver, mm -hmm. gusto ba nating may pamana yeah. sa ating mga anak na mga millennials? Yeah. Hindi, nga, hindi na nga po alam ito ng mga millennials. Eh. The millennial kids doesn't know about this crap mentality already. But the problem is, we adult. Mm -hmm. If we do this in front of these millennials, yeah. nakikita po nila eh. Yeah. At kala nila tama. Yeah. Ngayon susundan pa ba nila? Ngayon gusto, ba, gusto pa ba po ba natin na ibahagi ito? sa akin nilang magiging anak na hindi natin alam kung ano ang susunod na tawag nito sa mga millennials. Yeah. Kaya, putuli na po natin. Alam na po natin pangit. Bakit right. pa po natin ginagawa? That's right. Tama ka doon. So, so, yeah. Uh, uh, last question natin dito. Or, at pag nailag ka, ano ang nasabi mo naman sa mga uh, butante? Well, number one, if I will uh, get elected to the city of Granbury as city council, the first that uh, one of my uh, uh, platform is to ease the uh, financial strain to low, low income families. Paano po natin gagawin yan? Alam po natin na Filipinos, uh, Canadians, are, and even other nations are really like uh, love sports so much. At alam naman natin dito, here, here in Canada, if you go to sports, it's so expensive. If you go to Edmonton with your kid, and like taekwondo, basketball, volleyball, you will spend $1,200 just for one trip and for one game. Right. So, what we're going to do here is uh, talk to different financial institutions, mm -hmm. like uh, for example, Jumpstart, to give more charitable or monetary funds to these uh, uh, young, youngsters that wants to go to sports. We know for a fact that uh, if people will go to sports, uh, they will, they will uh, forget about the two uh, yeah. unnecessary things. That's number one, drugs, right? So, yung po ng number uno. Na, secondly, is uh, I want to have the, the good infrastructure program on, on the road and, and, and city and establishment here in Grand Prairie. Alam naman po natin, on the same spot, every single year, nakikita natin, they are, they are fixing the same spot every single year. So that's, that's not right. fixing, it's bad, just bad aid. Eh. eh, kung gagasos ang po natin ng mas malaki, if we're going to spend more money on it, at least maybe every three to four years before they fix it again. Right. Kesa every single year, it's just the same. The money is just the same. 
So, third is, I want to help ADAC uh, to ask for more provincial, on the provincial level side. If I am a city councilor, I, I think I have a voice enough to ask for the provincial level. Uh, level. Na magkaroon tayo na mas malaking pondo pa uh, dito po sa, sa, ano, sa mga rehabilitation natin for... Uh, uh, what's this? Ano, ano nga pala yung ADAC? Uh, sa mga addiction po ito. Eh. Okay. Like for sa, ang ADAC is for the addiction okay. sa at opio at drug drug users uh, alcohol okay. and I want to give much more uh, benefits and uh, support and especially much more uh, 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 services and yeah. paano po natin magagawa yon we just need to ask a little bit more fun from the provincial government because you know you know for a fact that every uh, constituency in Grand Prairie are paying a lot of money to our government, to our Alberta Health Services. I just want to make sure that our tax money will be given back as services here in Grand Prairie. Good. Yeah, uh, yun lang ang mga question ko. That's a uh, uh, good uh, good na sabi mo rin sa atin. Yes, we're proud that uh, brother here na tatako and ang layunin naman niya ay maganda maganda rin lahat naman yung uh, platforma niya so, so hopefully ikuan natin siya tulungan natin siya sa darating na ito na when, was, when is that? Um, October 18 October is the election 18. pero I know there will be an advance poll uh, two weeks before October 18 meron din so there may, maybe there will be two days of uh, or two events for the election okay right. yeah. so yan lang po mga kaibigan and uh, panoorin nyo po and labas kayo sa darating na election for brother uh, Neil Twaza thank you brother thank you salamat so, salamat po, po. Hello guys, thanks again for watching Iggy's World's video. Uh, let's support each other. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, and uh, share. Uh, let's support uh, Neil Twasson for City Council. And uh, kita-kita na lang tayo ulit sa next video. Salamat po.